Welcome to Avian First Aid, Episode 6. This is Tika. Dr. Gordy is going to demonstrate toweling techniques using the demo bird and Blue, the parrot. She will also give Blue a quick exam since he had to tolerate the toweling. For birds like Tika, who know what toweling is and hate it, they can also start to hate the person doing it. I let Dr. Gordy clip my bird's nails so they hate her instead. She doesn't have to live with them. I do. In an ideal world, you would have your demo bird on the floor. And this is way too big room. If I was choosing in this room, I would choose that corner and I would move that chair so you can't run on it, under it, and get away from me. The first time you tell a bird is easy because they don't know what's going on, and then they think about it for the rest of their life, how to beat you. <laughs> and every time you do it, the next time it's harder. So what you do is you put your bird in this corner, and usually, <laughs> oh, he fell over, he's quite sick. Um, <laughs> And usually you try and have like one person, not the owner, because you'll want to climb their pant leg, um, stand in one corner, maybe your technician and yourself. And if, if your bird is sitting in this position, you want to try and drop the towel over like that. Um, you put more in front because their tendency is to go forward. And then you just pick them up and sweep the towel around so that you hold their wings in. And then you can open the towel and examine them and do all that stuff. Now that was an easy bird. Hard bird number one, who's been caught before and knows the game. What he does is, as soon he sees the towel drop and he starts running and he goes like that. Or small bird uses his head as a bulldozer and underneath your towel, he goes like this and runs out. So in those birds, again, if you can use a corner then they don't have as far to go and even walk them so that when you put the towel down, they're right next to the wall so they can't really go forward. Now, super bad bird, who's been caught many, many times, what he does, and this is usually large birds, he will, doesn't matter where in the room, he doesn't care, he'll go on his back like that, and when you go to drop your towel, his feet will come up and he'll kick that towel right off. Or he'll hang on to it, so there, and then he'll reach up and bite you. <laughs> so, in Super Bad Bird, what you do is you have the owner or the technician have um, like a large perch, and he's primed to bite anything that could be the vet. So, um, you put it near near his beak. Your technician does, and usually for at least one second, he will grab that perch. And he's a little bit distracted, plus he thinks he's got you and he's having a lot of fun. So right at that point, you drop it over and then and then scoop him up. But then you have to readjust your towel. So in that kind of bird, you need quite a big towel. Because if you have one that's too small, then he still wins because your towel only covers this much. And you got to let him go and start over. Now he's even madder. Oh yeah, he's really mad now. <laughs> What you gonna do? Okay. Now the reason I chose blue for this demonstration is he has always hated being toweled and he will put up a fuss and he'll fight. So I thought I want you to see that I want you to see that it's okay if they're screaming, it's okay if they're fighting, that if you do this properly you're not gonna hurt them. Okay, so be prepared for some screaming. Corner please. <laughs> So you can see how I use so bad. I use the wall because blue is smart and blue is starting to do the you know, I can get out of here with the bulldozer thing. Hello blue, how are you? So then once you once you have your bird, I might as well do the quick exam thing. Um, while we're here. So if you hold them, you can fold the towel out to have a look at their head. So look at the nostrils, see if there's bleeding from the nostrils. If your bird has just hit a wall, bleeding from nostrils or ears means that you have a much more serious injury than if you have a bird that's hit a wall and maybe is a little wobbly, but you're not seeing anything else. Um, 
you need a speculum if you're going to look inside the mouth. And looking inside the mouth would be if you have a bird that is choking or breathing funny. And you can use a perch. They'll usually come at it and bite it. Or a pan and they'll come at it and bite it. And then you can have a look inside. And then once I'm done looking at the head, I usually, I usually cover them. Most birds are quieter covered. Occasionally you'll have one that is... Um, quieter with it, with the towel off, and if that's open, that's fine. They tend to like to chew on towels, that's fun for them. So then you can expose the body, and you can have a look at the front part, the chest. The chest is a common sight that would bleed if they hit a wall or fell down hard. You might see a cut along here. You can have a really good look at the toes and feet, which are common sites for injuries as well. If you're going to examine wings, you should put the bird flat on the table. And the reason is that when you go to spread that wing out, if they're loose, they, the wing can get bent back and you can dislocate the shoulder. So this way, you can hold them flat against the table and you can extend that wing out. So you can fight her. <laughs> and usually also at this point, if I needed to take a detailed look at the clarica, if we had a prolapse or an egg bound bird, I would have someone else hold the bird so that you could get a better look at it. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Good bird. Good boy. Who's a star? Jesus. Well, that ends the general first aid portion of these videos. The remaining episodes will deal with common injuries and specific emergencies. We'll see you next time on Avian First Aid. Ciao. See ya.